Hi, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks. Today, I'll be demonstrating Shreddage 3 Fretless, the first ever fretless bass we've recorded, and as of this video, the debut of the rebuilt Shreddage 3.5 engine. Though difficult to play, fretless basses have an iconic sound. They can be funky and full of low end, or they can really sing high melodic parts with this smooth, mellow tone, sometimes called the moi sound. Before we talk more about the instrument, let's hear it in action. We spent a lot of time developing this tone, working with the performer, George Nowick, to find the perfect instrument, the right strings, pickup, and the right hand positions, and I think you'll agree, we nailed it. S3 Fretless comes with three signals. There's the DI coming straight out of the pickup, plus two amp channels with two different mics, an SM57 and an E902. This is the first time we've ever offered pre-recorded amp channels for any shreddage instrument, but because the amp can be such a huge part of the fretless sound, we wanted to include it here. Naturally, you can blend these signals and set up per channel or master effects in our console tab. We've also got lots of tone snapshots ranging from clean to ambient to dirty. Now let's dig into the UI a little bit more. If you've used our previous Stratage 3 instruments, this will look familiar at a glance. But you'll also notice that we've streamlined things, presenting only the most important controls up front. Namely, the Performance Styles menu, which is new. Here you can pick from various presets, which are totally separate than the Effects presets I showed earlier. Performance styles can be like standard bass playing, where you're supporting an ensemble and generally playing on the lower frets or virtuosic soloing where the bass can take front and center. These styles adjust various things under the hood to bring out the best sound for that style. We also have a new keyboard mode that can be toggled from this menu. 
Normally, the instrument has a sort of virtual hand that moves around the fretboard. Depending on the notes you're holding and the ones you recently played, the strings in the fret selected may vary. Most of the time, this leads to a more realistic performance, but sometimes you want a 100% consistent sound when you hit any given MIDI note. In keyboard mode, you get exactly that. Every key is assigned to a specific fret and string, and there are no limits on polyphony, unlike in normal performance modes, which have a maximum of one note per string. This makes the instrument feel like a high-end premium workstation keyboard. These other main controls here are pretty simple. We've got a byte EQ that carves out the tone and makes it brighter. The extra attack knob adds a hard pluck to the transient of the sound, which scales with velocity. This can be really useful for tastefully enhancing certain notes. Bends and vibrato are standard, as we've shown in other videos and tutorials. Mastering the use of these is what sets a decent mock-up apart from a great one. For example, here's a simple riff with no pitch changes at all. And here's the same one if we add back some pitch. Anyway, if you want to dig into the engine a bit more, you've got controls along the bottom for hand position, capo by dragging on the fretboard, and force string, which is useful if you want to write parts very deliberately for specific strings. The strumming tab is unchanged from previous versions of Shredge 3. We'll talk about it more in another video, since it's less relevant for bass. The articulations tab, on the other hand, is totally redesigned, giving you full control and an easy understanding of where your articulations are mapped. For example, we can see at a glance what every articulation is mapped to. In this case, most are on key switches, or KS, which are also conveniently highlighted on the contact keyboard below. By the way, if you want to enable this keyboard, you just have to go up to this menu and click keyboard. The legato hammer on and pull off, as well as slides, are mapped by velocity. When you play in this upper velocity range, you get hammers, and when it's lower, you get slides, as long as the notes are overlapping. Of course, you can map articulations however you'd like. For example, maybe we want mutes to be velocity switched with sustains. So I'll click mute and then map. I'll set the key switch to C minus two, which would be shared with sustains, and set a velocity rule one to 49. I'll also add a velocity rule to sustains for velocities 50 plus. And now here's what that sounds like as I go from low to high velocity. Finally, we have the advanced tab. A lot of the controls from the old S3 UI have ended up here, but if you're new, don't pass this up. There are some interesting and genuinely cool features that you might enjoy. For example, being able to adjust the MIDI velocity curve for just this instrument without affecting any of your other plugins. Or anti-repetition, which adds extra variation to repeated notes. Or 
or even DI line noise if you want to give your virtual performance that extra bit of dirt and realism. Anyway, this covers the walkthrough for Shreddage 3 Fretless. Whether you're making jazz, blues, country, new age, or even heavy genres, I think that you'll really love this fantastic instrument. It's our best bass yet. S3 Fretless is available now from Impact Soundworks with support for the free contact player, plus full and improved NKS compatibility. Cross-grade deals might be available in your account if you've purchased other Shreddage instruments from us, so be sure to check your account. There's a link to the personal deals page in the video description. This has been Andrew Versa, and I'll see you next time.